ladies and gentlemen welcome to another vlog e vlog I'm coming through to y'all from upstate New York we're like a hundred miles away from New York City route 97 we're passing the town of Cochecton 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 if you're from Cochecton let my brother know how to pronounce this motherfucker anyway but don't get distracted by this wild intro don't get upset at my use of swears I am a, a constructive vlogger this is motor vlogging at its finest you see believe me you came to the right place if you clicked on the title of this video you already know what the vlog is about and I'm not gonna mess about with you fine fellas I'm gonna jump right in I'm gonna tell you exactly what the hell is going on here this is five items every motorcycle rider should have especially newbies every new rider every rider oh look at that bear yes should have taken a picture with that guy yes yes anyway uh, making sure my camera is still recording um, five things five items every motorcycle rider should have especially if you're new but there's no excuse if you're new old or whatever and I'm sure there'll be a lot of criticism on this video about me being a gear Nazi me being a hypocrite me minding my own business I should do that perhaps yes but I desperately desperately need content and I know that lists is what people click on so essentially you just got loitered into my clickbait congrats pop, 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 pop. don't leave yet do not stick around please stick around yes I want you to stick here oh Pennsylvania is that way Pennsylvania is just one mile to the left but screw PA this is New York vlog bro I'm a New York bro look at the sweeper Rossi Rossi would be proud of this sweeper ah and I'm gonna go camping tomorrow yes anyway whoa whoa whoa, whoa. five reasons here we go five not five reasons five items five items easy let's jump right in sorry sorry but you'll get used to it that's how it is sometimes I'm not just gonna give you a goddamn bullet point list anyway keep flashing them around the gloves the gloves are very important I, it's crazy how many you know I would start with a helmet but no the gloves is where it's at because it's crazy how many riders I see time day in and day out right in and right out with no gloves it is literally crazy I don't understand from the days of riding a bicycle a simple bicycle you know I've ridden since I was like five years old or maybe younger and I've jumped things and I've crashed dozens of times I can't even count how many times I crashed on a bicycle into my 30s you know yes I am that old and I've freaking destroyed my hands numerous of times because when I was a kid I did not wear gloves as a teenager as a kid young kid a little preteen little seven-year-old you don't wear goddamn riding gloves no but to see you know and and then eventually for bicycles I started wearing gloves and these people buy a motorcycle buy like a dope ass freaking some sexy cafe racer or you know even like a GS 1200 Beamer you know adventure bike or they get a you know a dirt bike or a sports bike like a nice road going MotoGP replica of sorts and still I see them riding with no gloves it makes no sense boys and girls you need gloves if you dump your bicycle at 10 miles per hour 15 miles per hour 20 miles per hour you get fucked up you see the scruff there I dumped the bike at a considerable speed let's call it 20 miles per hour don't worry about it and these gloves are fine they work they're still usable I have another pair of gloves that I've dumped the bike at nearly 40 miles per hour and my hands were fine I slid on concrete my hands were fine I don't want to even let you know what you, you I don't have to tell you what your hands would look like if you dump a motorcycle at 20 to 40 miles per hour and slid on your hands for 20 30 feet or whatever yes it would be vicious you'd be in real trouble so yeah please get gloves you crazy 
You're crazy. Any ride. I don't care if you're going down the street to get coffee. I see people every day in New York City. I especially see people on Vespas. People think that Vespas are not a real bike and they're riding. They're talking on the phone, one-handed, wearing a dress, you know, no gloves, nothing. If you're going to squint like a crazy motherfucker and you don't care about your body, put on your gloves so the way, like, you can at least apply bandages and ointments with your fingers, you know? That's number one reason. So you can apply the ointment to the rest of your body with your fingers that still have skin because nobody's going to want to touch your crusty ass body that's disgusting and scabby. All right? Nobody. Reason number two. No reason. I keep calling them reasons, but these are items. We're going to go with the helmet. I'm going to get really biased here. This is my personal opinion of safety, and it's important to me. Full face, 100%. I don't fucking play games. You might have the cutest face, sickest beard. You might want to be period correct. You might want to do whatever. You might not be going fast. You're not going far. You're not doing a goddamn thing. You're just cruising. Guess what? I knew a person. I know. I still know this person, and he's a plastic surgeon in California. And he told me about some terrible things. He's a motorcycle rider. And I don't remember the percentage, but he does a lot of plastic surgeries on motorcycle riders after their crashes, and he said something like 70% or more have chin rebuild surgery. Just listen to uh, the sound of that phrase, chin rebuild surgery. And because a full face helmet protects your goddamn chin in an event of a crash when you're sliding on your fucking face, get a goddamn full face helmet. I would say even a cheap full face helmet is better than an expensive open face. You don't need that in your life. You don't need to, uh, you know. You don't need that. Plus, you like get protected from bugs. So as a new rider, you know, you're already distracted left and right and center. Yo. You don't need distractions of uh, bugs in your face as well. You know? I'm about to pass all these people here going to happen momentarily for sure because we're going 52 it is out of control god damn it it's hard for me to think about these items but yeah get a full face don't fuck about don't fuck around with that don't fuck around with the open face We don't need to be going 76. We're okay. Three bundles for 10 bucks, goddamn. Anyway, yeah, get a full face. Trust me. You might be like, you might nobody might see your face or, or you may not be able to drink while you ride or talk on the phone or something. You could do Bluetooth, of course, but you know, you may not be able to put on makeup or you know, look sexy as I keep saying. But there's sexy full face helmets and trust me, they're so much safer. Spend most of your money as a new biker on a full face helmet. You gotta spend like a lot of money on that shit. Don't cheap out on your full face. You need it. Trust me. Trust me, you need that shit. A full face helmet, forget it. Necessity. The next item, of course, is a good jacket. Jacket is so, so, so crucial that I could talk about. I could do a whole episode just on a jacket. But jacket was one of the first items I bought. Helmet, gloves, jacket because goddamn like I said before with the hands road burn road rash ah I'd rather sweat than bleed even on the hottest day you're better off in a jacket and you got to get a jacket that's a real jacket like you wearing like some fashionable leather leather coat not good enough you might look sexy but no 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 you need to be strong you need a real jacket. You need leather or textile like this, A through here. Yes, yes, good jackets cost money, but you don't necessarily have to spend a fortune, no. You could find a good budget conscious jacket, trust me. I'm not going fast at all. I'm just cruising. That was a pop pop. That was legit pop pop. Anyway, 
A jacket is important. And you need a jacket that has pads, you know? Uh, don't just get a sexy looking jacket. You need a jacket that has proper padding. And by padding, I mean five pads, elbows, shoulders, spine, all that. You need lots of vents. No, no, no. You son of a bitch. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm skipping this gas station. I'm pumping my luck. There'll be others. But yeah, you need vents and you need pockets. Two very important things. Waterproof, yes, also important. But vents and pockets are very important because you need pockets for money, you need pockets for snacks, batteries, GoPro batteries, whatever. You know, cables, thingies. You definitely need pockets. Super important. Make sure my bag is not slouching, it's fine. So, yeah, vents and pockets. Waterproofing comes next, but pads, crucial. And you need that item. Don't fucking ride around on your t-shirt. Come on, I'm trying to save your body. I'm trying to legit save you from yourself. Stop sign, cocksuckers. I'm trying to stop you from yourself. Oh. That CRV stands no chance. Let's carry on while the battery is still going because I'm afraid the battery will die really, really soon. And I have such a strong message here. Possibly the best five item list on YouTube. Item number next is, of course, the most important as well, which is boots. You need proper foot protection, you know? It's very crucial, very important. I'm wearing Red Wings, which are not essentially real motorcycle boots, you know, but they are tall, sturdy, leather boots. They have protected me in the crash. And uh, just to mention one more time, uh, I think about my jacket, same thing. If I wasn't wearing a jacket when I kaplunkied, I would have been bleeding. Instead, my jacket didn't even get, I was wearing my leather bell staff, my jacket did not even get scratched. Fact. Back to life. You know? My shoulder and my elbow got a little scuffed up. Peace. Uh, but that's it. That's it. I got away. I walked away from that crash. 40 miles per hour. And you people are like, what crash do you keep talking about? We don't know anything. I've been watching your vlog forever. What crash are you talking about? Ha ha ha. Na na na. Wait. You're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to keep checking my channel every day for that. It will come. Anyway, we're moving back to shoes. But yeah, you need shoes. You cannot wear fucking Converse's and Vans. I did that for months. I went cross country in essentially high top sneakers. 5,000 miles of high tops. Like a fucking idiot. That's right. Stupid. You cannot do that. No. I won't let you. I'll make you watch this vlog until you buy a pair of proper shoes. And you should text me or text me, message me below and tell me to get proper shoes. Look at this fucking guy. Yeah, you should uh, comment below and tell me to get proper shoes because I myself could use proper shoes. I don't have the proper shoes, you know? I have hipster sexy shoes, but that's it. They're not proper. But anyway, yeah, spend some money on proper shoes. And you can get sneakers, you can get boots, you know, 100, 200 bucks, which is a lot of money, yes. Jacket, two, 300. Helmet, two, 300. And up from there, yeah. Gloves, 100, 50, 100 dollars. Boots, you know. But you need some uh, stiffness side to side lateral stiffness and then uh you know plates and i'm being a hypocrite of course like i mentioned earlier because i'm wearing fucking hipster gear some would say you know a savage hipster gear terrible terrible don't listen to this guy <laughs> i'm doing this voice i'm having fun i'm having fun doing a voice 
<laughs> anyway, you need that item, item number four. And number five brings me to the item that people overlook the most. One of the most overlooked items, of course. And that is, you're right. You're totally right. Oh, look at this dirt on this road. Uh, the item is pants, motorcycle pants, protective pants. I've seen people ride for a long time on different bikes. Multiple bikes these people had. Shots. And they don't have protective pants. You know? How can you DJ music if you don't have protective pants? Shots. You need protective pants, broskies. You need hip pads. You need knee pads. You need Kevlar qualities. I have two pairs of protective pants. Depending on how I feel. I can do this and I can do that. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me at all. I can do whatever the hell I want. 10 mile river access. That's beautiful. So yeah, that pretty much concludes my, my list. You need shoes. And you need goddamn pants. Gloves. Helmet. Jacket. But you knew this. I mean, you. Oh, what did you think I was going to... Oh, that butterfly. I didn't want to kill it. But I think I might have... What did you think I was going to tell you? Some magic? Don't get a... Get a jacket that has spine protection. You know? You'll thank me. Even on a warm day. Right now it's 85, 87. All the vents open. I'm not so hot. I'm warm. But I'm safe. Look at this road. But yeah, and a vest or something? Nah. No, no, no. You do not want a vest. You want a jacket. A full jacket, full protection. That's what you really want. That's what you truly need. Oh, my back is itchy. I have to itch it. Good. I itched it. 23 miles until Hawk's Nest. Making a good little time here. Cooking it with a little butter. A little bit of moist butter. Moist butter. What do you think of when you hear a phrase, moist butter? Let's discuss. Let's brainstorm. I have gone, theoretically, over 100 miles per hour on a straight over 120 I will not demonstrate it now however because I have matured greatly I'd like to say I'm one of the most mature motorcycle vloggers uh, like if you agree sub double subscribe if you agree comment if you agree the most mature yes that's right by the way this is still five items so if you're listening this is still five items because as a rule, if you're new to this vlog, as a rule towards the end of the vlog, there's always a, always a bonus, bonuses, bonus I, plural. We're looking out for animals also because animals are everywhere. It's true. Whoa, I'm going a little faster than I should. Yo, uh, I, forgot the, the, I forgot the bomb. Damn, I told you it was going 72. That's how you get in deep trouble. I don't want no trouble. But trouble. 120 miles. My gas light is coming on shortly, so I would imagine the next gas station uh, will be the place and time that I pull over to gas up and to, of course, change the battery on the GoPro. Yo, fucking dick on a Harley. Terrible. I have a lot of Harley friends and they're all really lovely people. That person was not your typical Harley rider. Fucking scumbag. No, it's fine. It's okay. I, you know, I don't care. If somebody doesn't say hello to me, it does not bother me. It's not about them. It's about me. I mean, it's not about me. It's about them. Yes, misspoke. Freudian slip. Look at this road. It's the best. It's the dankiest road ever. Look at that view. It's the dankiest view. My bag is totally slipping, but it is okay. We're gonna be all right. We'll adjust it. It's gonna be easy. Easy. Oh, 20.
20 miles. Somebody's camping over there. Sick. I could pull over at any point. Take some pictures of the bike. But the problem is I'm really thirsty. Oh, look at that. Sick. I do want to go off-road. I wonder if that was an off-road path. Look at this camping parasite, parasite, paradise. The camping paradise. The folks are camping. They're really loving life. It's beautiful here. Let's slow down a little for this handicapped person. You're going 47, reasonable. Oh, look at these. Look at these beautiful rafters. Oh, look at that waterfall. Ooh, exquisite. Can't pass this person here. It is a, a forbidden zone. Rafting is one hell of a hobby. This person can move. I thought they're driving slow, but they're not. We can even fall back and just enjoy. Oh yes, it's so nice. Can't believe this GoPro is still going. Some batteries are just so strong, stronger than others. Look at these bridges. What can I do with that bridge? I don't know. I do not know. Do I dare ride past this gas station? Look at this bridge. It's a beautiful bridge. What a situation. That's how you get to the Vania. That's how you get to Vania. We're not going to Vania. No, no, no. Not at all. All right, we'll have to pass this person. We're going too slow. We're going to pass this person. this beautiful spot here this is where you can truly relax Eagle Observatory gorgeous gorgeous if you're wondering why I keep doing that weird little move I can check if the goddamn GoPro is still GoProing look at these people enjoying enjoying what can only be called happiness 